up, you guys? Short Mr. Prime here with ToyNewsEye.com at New York Toy Fair 2017 at the Mezco booth with Mr. Pierre Calanzaga. How's it going today, Pierre? It is going great, man. Good to uh, see you. Yeah, uh, good to see you too, man. And good to see all the stuff that you have here at the Mezco booth. I'm really excited about the 112 Collective figures. I mean, you guys are constantly pumping out new stuff. And you have some brand new product out here in the glass today. So, uh, can we talk about some of the news, uh, the new figures that we have coming out from you guys? Of course, yeah. Uh, so on the Marvel side, we've got Iron Man, uh, who will have a, I believe, a uh, magnetic base plate. So you'll be able to pull that mask off and see Stark underneath there. Oh, nice. Uh, I believe his arc reactor is going to light up, kind of like um, our armored Batman did last year. Our character, uh, Doctor Strange, based on his classic look, but still with our twist on it. Yeah. Um, which we like to do with all these characters. They're, you know, they're they're classic looking, but still not quite 100% classic. Which is what we try to do because it's more fun that way. Honestly. Yeah. We're, yeah. We we're talking about that a little bit earlier. I think that's that's pretty awesome because it's not so far off and so far distant where it's something where you're making the characters unrecognizable or anything, right. but it's your own spin on it and right. everything. So. And, and just going back to the Iron Man figure really quick, I, I gotta say, I love that you added this, the lines like through the yellow and gold sections. Oh, yeah. Like, that's some, usually that's just all smoothed out, but I like Yeah, we, I mean, armored up. I actually wanted to do 100% classic 60s era Iron Man, even uh -huh. with the cloth, uh, but we decided to redesign it from the, from the ground up. Uh, uh, and I think we ended up with still a very classic looking Iron Man, but a modern sensibility. So I'm, I'm happy with the middle ground that we found on him. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. And then you're just going on, on the Doctor Strange. That looks yeah. really cool too, right? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, it's classic looking, but still our tweak on it. Um, and then next to him, we've got uh, Netflix Daredevil, which is basically yeah. our announcement that we can do live action. So we've got both yes. Netflix and Marvel movies. Uh, so we're working on Thor Ragnarok now. We have a couple characters from that. Um, and then again, we're just rolling forward into more live action stuff after that. So. Awesome. I'm excited for it. Me awesome. Too. We have Red Skull, too. We've yeah. seen Red Skull before. Uh, we're looking at spring. So very soon, that one should be coming out, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got a bunch of stuff that's, that's sort of shipping uh, back to back. So Daredevil and Punisher just shipped. Uh, Red Skull will be shipping pretty soon, yep. um, and Spidey comes out in the uh, in the summertime. Yeah. And again, with these guys, uh, we're only showing the regular retail release. We're not showing all the variants. So in in most cases, these guys have at least two different variants. Um, that will be both through our website, Mesco Direct, uh, MescoToys.com, and through uh, previews. Okay. So keep an eye out on that. Um, yeah. Other new characters, we got Wolverine that we yeah. haven't shown before. Very excited. He was always my favorite character, so yeah, I'm glad yeah. to finally be able to work on him. Um, and again, you'll have two variants of that guy to look forward to. Excellent. So we're going to get a blue, blue and yellow version too? I can neither confirm nor deny that. Ah, but uh, okay. Wolverine fans should be happy. I'm hoping. Okay. I'm hoping. And then speaking of hoping, I'm, I'm hoping you guys get a chance to do a Spider-Man Homecoming figure. I don't uh, know if you could talk about that or not, or what the chances yeah. are maybe. The I'm only trying. thing I can say to that is that we're working on more live action stuff. So I'll, I'll let you daydream about what that means. But uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all I can say. Fair enough. Fair enough. I get the feeling you want to do it. So <laughs> yeah, I want to do everything. I mean, yeah. if it was up to me, we'd be doing everything. But uh, I'm happy with what we're working on now, and uh, I think you'll be happy too. Awesome, man. I have a feeling I will. And then uh, in the fall, we have Deadpool coming out too. Yeah. Deadpool looks amazing. I'm Thank you. Thank you. Again, uh, at least two more variants on him. Is it? Have we, have we seen images of the variant for the Deadpool? Is it going to be in the gray and black, maybe? I can or? confirm or deny. Uh, <laughs> There, there, you know, the thing with working on these characters is that there are so many existing variants that we can go with uh, that are legitimate variants. We're not making them up and we're not just pulling them out of the blue. Yeah. Um, and with a character like Deadpool, there's, you know, there are only so many really recognizable looks for him. So, um, yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. And then um, and then we have some live action DC stuff. We have yeah. Harley Quinn. Yep, we have Harley Quinn from Suicide Quinn. Squad. Yeah. Uh, we have Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot from her solo yeah. film coming out later this year. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm a yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she she was the the get from Batman versus Superman. She was the best part. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're we're working on more live action uh, DC stuff as well, Warner Brothers stuff. Uh, we've got our DCU Joker, which we're shipping pretty yeah. soon in the next. I want to say the next month. Um, Green Arrow just shipped. Uh, yep. Both Flash and Shazam are shipping in the next couple of months. Um, and all three of those guys have variants through Diamond. So you can get uh, uh, Professor Zoom, Arsenal, and um, Black Adam all through uh, Diamond. And um, we've also got Superman over there. And if, when, yeah. you, when you guys take a look at him, uh, he's got bullet ricochets by his feet. Those actually have magnets in them. Oh, and they'll stick yes. to his S-shield. 
Um, oh wow! So, so the shield, the, the press is is magnetic. It has magnets in it, so there are certain spots where they'll clip to. Oh my god! Um, oh, that's awesome. That's that's pretty uh, brilliant. I like that. And he's got a, cha a bendy chain, so you can bend those around him. So he's like breaking out of the chain. Oh sweet! Um, and his alternate head with the heat vision, actually, the eyes glow in the dark. Um, nice. So with all this stuff, we like to put in little nods and little extras like that where we can. Will, will Superman come with the wires that you can use to? Uh, prop up the cape, kind of like with the yeah. Dark Knight Returns Batman and the other Batman figures? Yes, uh, we, we have redesigned that whole cape clip system because yeah. uh, from, from the Dark Knight it wasn't it wasn't my favorite. I know it was hard to use and it was uh, frustrating for a lot of people. It was frustrating for me as well. So we've redesigned that entire cape clip system and um, any character that doesn't have a posable cape uh, will have that cape clip. So Doctor okay. Strange actually has a wire in his cape so you can sort of flare it however you want. Oh, nice. Same thing with Space Ghost. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what we're looking at. All right, awesome, awesome. And then we have Darkseid coming out too. We've seen that before, but still looks amazing behind the glass. Yeah, Darkseid come out next year. Uh, he'll come with alternate face plates. So you can literally take his face off and give him like an angry face, a battle damage face, that kind of thing. Nice. Um, and all those faces will feature the light up eye uh, function. So excellent. And then we have, uh, we've seen Shazam before. Uh, with yeah. Two alter or three heads. Three yeah. interchangeable heads. This is the first show that we're showing uh, all the stuff that these guys come with. So ah, at previous right. shows we just showed the figure. Yeah. And at Toy Fair this year we're showing all the alternate hands, the heads, all the accessories that they come with. Mm -hmm. um, a character specifically like Shazam, we got to add in uh, other characters like Mr. Mind and Mr. Adam, who are classic villains of that character, and sort of build out his universe. Even though it's just a one-figure release, it ends up being kind of three characters in one, which is cool to do. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. And then you also have Deathstroke coming out, looking incredible too. Yeah. I know people are excited for that Deathstroke. Yeah, I was saying earlier that uh, Punisher and Deathstroke are really my, my favorites so far because when you get that much detail at that scale, it just pops that much more. Mm -hmm. um, so Deathstroke, uh, he's coming in the summer, I believe, and we have another a variant for him coming through, I believe through Diamond, uh, a deco variant for him, which looks fantastic. So. I'm looking forward to you guys seeing that finally. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then lastly, I think that out of the 112 Collective, we have a new Batman coming from you. We do, yeah. So um, Batman, I've mentioned many times before, is Mez's favorite character. Um, so he didn't, he never just wanted to do one Batman figure, but he needed a reason to, you know, do three. So our our uh, concept behind this Batman figure is this is our first appearance Batman. Um, we're going to do three total Batman figures. Uh, so this is his first appearance as he's sort of learning the ropes of being Batman. The middle figure will be him in his prime as he sort of, you know, gets more gadgetry and more tech. And then the third figure will be an older, heavier, battle-tested uh, Dark Knight type Batman. Uh, cool. And each figure will come with an unmasked head that gradually gets older and more weathered as, you know, he gets beaten up as Batman. So is is the middle one going to be kind of like the the classic superpowers look with the with the gray and the brighter blue? Um, Colors, we're going to do, uh, there's a possibility to do color decos on, on all of these. Uh -huh. um, and and with Batman just being Mez's favorite character, I can't imagine that any of the three of them won't have multiple color options. Yeah, so yeah. You can look forward how, to many, that. how many variants did we get of the first Dark Knight Returns yeah, Batman? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Yeah. And then, um, and then while we're on the subject of Batman, I don't see the Batmobile out here that we'd seen last time. I remember right. we'd seen that on display before. So, is that still in the works? Is, it, is that still uh, in progress and everything? It's still in the works. Yeah, it was. It was uh, the scale of it was something we'd never done before. Yeah. Um, so we were learning. We were learning a lot about something that scale. We still are learning a lot about it. So it's it's over in Hong Kong. It's in development, and we'll have to see where it goes. Awesome. Is there a chance that we'll get other vehicles in the future? Is, there, is that something that's, I mean, so far, I mean, I know that's not the first one we've gotten for 112 Collective, right? right? We've Judge Dredd and everything, so right. so we're going to expect more of that and possibly yeah. a Punisher van or something. Is that wow. going a little too far? That, that like might be a little too far. I mean, we're, we're committed to making both uh, dioramas uh, and, you know, sort of area-specific things like the captain's chair for Star Trek, mm -hmm. um, as well as vehicles where it makes sense. Um, you know, we, we don't want to... We don't want to not give 110% on all these figures. And where it makes sense to have a vehicle, we'll have a vehicle. Awesome. Well, I'm excited for everything you guys are doing. I, I, you can clearly see the passion put into your guys' work and the innovations that you guys are doing as you go forward. I'm really excited for everything that you guys are producing. And, and I appreciate your time with me over here today at New York Toy Fair 2017. Pierre from Mezco Toys. Thank you.